we pray. Amen. 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 I want to thank everyone. Thank you for coming. Thank you for joining. God bless you so much. I have a student, one of our students, is today is going to talk to you about the power of conversion. The power of conversion. What is the power of conversion? As you open your mind, your heart to reason, you will be blessed. Therefore, I'm going to pray for you, Sister Lindy, as you are going to minister to us what you have learned and, and, what, and, and how conversion power works. Thank you very much. Let me pray for you. My God and my Father, in the name of Jesus, I commit your daughter into your hand, God. I pray divine protection, God. I, I suck her with the blood of Jesus, God. Father, give her more words and wisdom, God. My Father and my God, in the name of Jesus, I pray that God divine protection, God. Any power from the powers of darkness will not attack her because of this prayer, God. My God and my Father, in the name of Jesus, as he's coming to me, minister to us, Lord. My Father, use her mightily. Anoint our God, my Father, in the name of Jesus. Anoint our God, Almighty, King of glory. Jesus Christ, we worship you, Lord. I pray that God Almighty, you would anoint her and use our God, my Father. Use her, oh God, my Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. I thank you for our life, God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. 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 Dr. Juma Linde, Dr. Linde Juma, I want to welcome you to minister to our, to our, to, to, to our ministry and to our viewers on Periscope and Ustream, wherever anybody will be listening to you in, in the media, wherever. I want, you to, I want to welcome you. You are our student and this is one way how you, you, you do, you run, and that's how you can even have confidence of what you are doing. I know you can do better. Go ahead and start uh, your, 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 and, and start. I, I welcome you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Thank you, Mother. Praise the Lord, people of God. I thank God and sing His praises today for His goodness, His mercy, and His favor upon all of us and upon my life today. The Amen. message is the power of confession. When my spiritual ma uh, mentor, Prophetess Dr. Christina Ziggy, asked me to prepare a way for today, I asked God what I should share. Like most of you, I spent quite some time in prayer and went through countless notes to find the right sermon. God showed me a few things that I have learned from following Overcomer's Deliverance and Healing Ministry that I could speak on. I finally settled on confessions because that is one of the staples in this ministry. Confessions help strengthen our faith, whether we're looking at the deliverance manual or the 21 days of fasting and other books that are available in this ministry. We find many, many confessions that we can use daily in order to experience victory in our walk with Christ. Amen. So what is confession? Confession is a, spirit, is a spiritual biblical principle it is saying the same thing that God is saying. Amen. It is agreeing with what God is saying. Therefore, it is created from Scripture and inspired by the Word of God. Amen. If you can't find the Word to back it up, then it is not a confession. Don't say it. No matter how good it sounds. I'm reminded of an example I heard in ministry school many years ago. We always say God helps those who help themselves. So we started going through the Bible to find scripture that supported it. Yes. As smart as that expression sounds, we could not find a scripture to back it up. True, yes. So it has not been part of my declarations for, to anyone, yes. even to myself, since mm -hmm. my days in ministry school. Amen. So confession is the, in the Greek is homologia which means to agree with or to say the same thing yes. as someone. In this case, we agree or say the same thing that God said. Yes. If God says I can do it, then that's what I have to say. Yes. I can say then with confidence that I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Yes. Now, before we go too far, let's do first things first. 
confess salvation first yes. so that you can be in covenant with God. Yes. Covenant will allow you to make the confessions and claim as a son or daughter of the Most High God. Amen. So I am speaking to sons and daughters of God the Father. In Mark eleven twenty four, it says, Therefore I say to you, whatever things you ask, in other words, whatever things you confess yes. when you pray, yes. believe that you receive them when you pray, and you will have them. Amen. Whether it is salvation, deliverance, healing, finances, and the list goes on and on. Yes. The list of needs goes on and on. When, when we confess those things, the word says we shall have them. Amen. In Luke 18, 30, uh, uh, Luke 18, verses 13 and 14, the text collector confessed, God have mercy on me, a sinner. So he was asking for God to save him. Yes. He was asking for God to receive him into his kingdom, and he received salvation. Yes. In Psalm 51, 1, David confessed his sin before God, saying, have mercy upon me, O God, Yes. according to your loving kindness, mm. according to the multitude of your tender mercy. Yes. Blot out my transgressions, mm -hmm. and God spared him from death. Yes. First John 1 John 1.9 says, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Yes. So whether it is salvation that you need, whether it is deliverance that you need, whether it is healing that you need, whether it is finances that you need, whatever needs you have, you have to confess and you have to know that God is faithful yes. to forgive, to cleanse, and to provide. Yes. Amen? What is the result of confession? The result of confession, the power of confession, attracts God's blessings among other benefits, as I have mentioned a little earlier. Blessings, benefits such as favor, forgiveness, healing, peace, mm -hmm. and there are many other things that we confess, that we speak, that we, 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 we bring before God because we know that He is a provider. Uh, he is our provider. Amen? Amen. Confessions can also attract the devil's traps, though, if we don't watch our tongue. Proverbs 18.21 says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Mm. So, and those who love it will eat its fruit. Yes. So a positive confession will attract, will bring life. Yes. While a negative confession will beat us down, will keep us confused, will bring death. Yes. If I keep confessing that I'm poor, those words will produce exactly what I'm saying. Yes. Lack will reign in my life, whether it is in the form of money or other aspects of my life. Mm -hmm. When I keep claiming my headache, my sickness, my this, my that, if it's negative, I'm owning it, yes. and it will, I will possess it. Mm -hmm. But if I say sickness or disease are far from me, because by his stripes I am healed. Yes. Sickness and disease are not my portion. Yes. And sickness and disease have to go. Yes. Because it doesn't belong in this body. Amen? Amen. We have to consci consciously think about and confess the positive things we want, according Amen. to God's word. Yes. Therefore, brethren, speak words of life in your, on yourself, on your family, on your ministry, on your surroundings at all times. A positive confession brings blessing, and a negative confession brings defeat. Yes. Proverbs 6, 2 says, you are snared by the words of your mouth. I believe what I have asked for. Yes. But we usually use that because we're thinking, well, maybe that's just how things are. Well, maybe it's this way, maybe, maybe it's that way. But we have to believe without a shadow of a doubt that God is a healer, Amen. that God is a deliverer, that God can do those things that his word says he can do. Yes. Because it, it says his word will not return to him void. We yes. have to believe those things. Mm -hmm. And once we believe them, once we have instilled them in us, 
then we can bring him out. Amen. And we can strengthen our faith. Amen. Amen. Thank you. When Jesus. I say I believe I am healed, I have to say it with conviction because I truly believe that I am healed by the stripes of Jesus Christ. Yes. Even through pain and suffering, with tears flowing down our faces, and I have gone through that many, many a time, believe me. It's possible to reap joy when we confess the right words. Yes. Psalms 126.5 says, They that sow in tears reap in songs of joy. Amen. Remember the story of Ruth, the, the Moabite. In the Old Testament, Ruth sowed in tears and reaped the great reward because amen. she confessed the right words at the right time. Amen, amen, amen. Thank the you, Jesus. The end of the harvesting season, she was married to Boaz. Yes. When the time was right, according to God's timetable, not my timetable, not your timetable, according to God's timetable. Now, here's an interesting point. Most single females in the body of Christ claim the Boaz blessing. The Lord's blessing requires a root sacrifice. Mm -hmm. What seeds are you sowing in your life and in the lives of those around you? Yes. Are you pleasing in God's sight? Are you loving? Are you kind? Are you self-sacrificing? Are you caring for your Naomi? Do you have a Naomi in your life? Ruth 1, 16 and 17 says, Ruth said, Do not urge me. To leave you or return from following you. For where you go, I will go. And where you lodge, I will lodge. Where your people shall be, your people shall be my people. And your God will be my God. Yes. She was confessing. She was pledging herself to her destiny. Yes. Amen. Amen. Where you die, I will die. And there I will be buried. Mm. May the Lord do so to me. And more also, if anything but death parts me from you. Amen. Historically, Ruth had no business following Naomi, as you know, from the Bible. Yes. She had no business following her anyway, because Ruth was of the cursed tribe, the Moabites. She was not allowed to dwell among the Israelites because of what her people, the Moabites, had done. Yes. Deuteronomy 23, 36 says, No Moabite of any of his, or any of his descendants may enter the assembly of the Lord even down to the 10th generation. Mm. Now, that is powerful. But God can break the curse when we go to him in prayer Amen. and use the right yoke-breaking prayers in the, in the case. Amen. Prayers that break generational curses and lead us into generational blessings. Yes. When we do that, when we make those confessions, mm -hmm. God will deliver us. Yes. God will break the yoke of bondage that hold us back, whether it is from generations past or it is for, or from our own sins. Amen? Amen. Now let's get back to our topic for today, the power of confession. Yes. In other words, the power of the tongue. What you confess out of your mouth, you shall have. Yes. The tongue is like a two-edged sword. Yes. It has the power to heal, it has the power to hurt. Ruth made a confession with her mouth. In, in verse 2, of Ruth 2, it says, So Ruth, the Moabite, said to Naomi, Please let me go to the field, glean of heads of, gra of grain, after him in whose sight I may find favor. Yeah. She spoke it, and it came to pass. Yes. In verse 8 of Ruth 2, Boaz tells her to stay within his field and glean from there. Yes. He tells her to get water from the vessel when she's thirsty. He instructs his skilled workers to take care of her. That favor. From the spoken word, she said something. She confessed something out of her mouth. Amen. Please let me go to the field and glean heads of grain after him in whose sight I may find favor. And God gave her favor. Through, through poets. Our confessions prepare a way for favor, for victory in Jesus' name. Ruth 2 verse 12 says, The Lord repay you for what you have done. This is now Boaz telling Ruth, The Lord, the Lord repay you for what you have done, and a full reward be given you by the Lord, the God of Israel. 
under whose wings you have come to take refuge. God has seen your labor of love. God has heard your cry. God has given your tears, and here is God's answer for you. What confessions can come out of that? Powerful confessions that we can make out of that if we have, if we know we have labored, if we know that we have done what God has has given us to do, if we know we have supported those God told us to support. Yes. We can have some powerful confessions right from that scripture. Who is God speaking to today? Be encouraged. Your help is on the way if you know you have done what you needed to do. God has heard your cry. He has heard your petition. He has prepared an answer for your pain, your suffering, your petition, whatever they may be. He is the God that answers by fire. None can compare to him. Nothing compares to the things he has done and he has in store for you if you first trust him and keep confessing his word about you. What Ruth experienced in her time of need, you and I can also experience if we confess it in, with our mouth and believe that God can do it. It shall be done for us. Amen? Mm-hmm. Yes. Amen. I yes. heard a man ask people to say the word expectancy. First he said it fast. Expectancy. 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 Then he said it slowly. Expectancy. Expectancy. And when they got it, they all said, expect and see in unison. <laughs> you have to expect it and see it in the spiritual realm before you see it in the natural realm. It will manifest in the natural realm if you see it in the spiritual realm first. That will keep you strengthened and it revived and it will keep you revived at all times until you see the manifestation of what you're believing God for. Nothing is too big for Jehovah Jireh, our provider. But the main prerequisite is to abide in him. We yes. have to abide in him. Yes. We confess Jesus as our Lord and Savior. Amen. We don't hide our salvation. We don't hide our relationship with God. Matthew 10.32, in Matthew 1032, Jesus says, Whosoever therefore shall confess me before me, he will, uh, excuse me, him will I confess also before my Father which is in heaven. We have to have faith in him, according to Hebrews 10, uh, 1023. Yes. Proverbs 1821 says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Confess the word. We must confess the word. Saying what God says about us is a positive confession that brings blessing. Yes. On the other hand, a negative confession brings defeat. Proverbs 6, 2 reads, You are snared by the words of your mouth. Amen? Amen. In conclusion, I want to tell you that we have to increase our faith level. The first thing we have to do is to keep confessing God's word daily at all times. We start confessing our sins, asking God to cleanse us and, and clean us of all unrighteousness. In 1 John 1, 9, it says if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. The text collector did it and God cleaned him up. Amen. He yes. can do it for us. Yes. The second point is that we have to believe that we receive it and thank God for it. We have to agree with or say what God said about us. Mark eleven twenty four says, Therefore I say unto you, whatever things you say when you pray, whatever things you say when you pray. Amen? Amen. Know in your heart without a shadow of a doubt and confess with your mouth that when your confession agrees with the word of God, you have what you ask for before you even see the manifestation. Amen? Amen. See it in the spiritual. Yes. Keep confessing it until you see it manifest in the natural. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Be vigilant. Number three is to be vigilant. Mm-hmm. First Peter 5, 8 says, be sober, be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil, walks to and fro like a a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. The words of our 
now. Give him the license to kill. Yes. We have to watch ourselves not to be devoured because our words ensnare us. Yes. The fourth thing is to read our word consistently and make confessions of faith. Yes. These are the beautiful confessions of faith that you can either get Amen. from um, uh, Overcome Deliverance and Healing Ministry, or you can write your own by going through the Bible and reading scripture and creating your own confessions. The most important thing is that you confess. Amen? Amen. You have to confess the word of the Lord. Amen. Concerning your situation. Yes. When sickness abounds, speak the word of God. I Amen. believe I'm healed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Because he said it, I believe it. Amen. First Peter 2.24 says, Whom himself, Christ, bore our sins in his own body on the tree. Yes. By his stripes you were healed. Amen. So we can confess that. Amen. Confession should be our daily bread. Whether we're in the palace or in the prison cell, whether we're in sickness or in health, whether we're in good times or bad times, confessing God's word will strengthen our walk with him, will strengthen our faith. Amen? He will see us through any situation. Yes. We should not wait till we're afflicted with something to start confessing. We should confess in good times and in bad times. Amen? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. The last point is that we must serve God and his people. Our salvation is not for us to enjoy and walk around as holier than thou. Mm -hmm. We're supposed to take this word and, and serve it to others so that they may be able to see and recognize the God in us, and they may want it. We want other people to want it. Amen? Amen. Amen. The following prayer points or confessions are taken from Overcomers, Deliverance, and Healing Ministries prayer book. Um, I got permission from Prophet Dr. Christine to use them today. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, the complete book has scripture references uh, for these prayer points. As I mentioned, it's important to know that your prayer points are coming from the Bible. Amen? Amen. So let's say them together. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Let the enemies of the gospel. Let the enemies of the gospel. Begin to run without anyone pursuing them. Begin to run without anyone pursuing them. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh yes. Lord, bless away my enemy. Oh God, bless away my enemy. My chest before the wind. The chest before the wind. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, burn to ashes all the enemies of God. O oh Lord, burn to ashes every enemies of the Lord. As wood is burnt in the forest. And the word is packing to the forest. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, fight my enemies with your tempestuous storm. O oh God, fight my enemy with your tempestuous storm. And make them afraid wherever they go. And make them afraid wherever they go. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank oh God, Jesus. release terrifying noises. Oh God, release terrifying noise. To torment all evil personality. To torment every evil personality. Aiming to attack my ministry. Intending to attack my ministry. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, turn every negative situation in my life. Oh God, turn every evil situation in my life. To a stepping stone of prosperity. To prospective stones and prosperity. For my destiny in the name of Jesus. For my destiny in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh God, arise and eradicate from the land. Oh God, arise and eradicate from the land. Of the living. Of the living. Every attack of your work. Every cut of your work. In my ministry, in the name of Jesus. In my ministry, in the name of Jesus. Let any evil personalities. Let every evil personality. Attacking the progress and advances to advancement of my ministry. Against my advancement, my progress against my ministry. Be confounded.
confounded and put to shame in the name of Jesus. Be confounded and put to shame in the name of Jesus. Oh God, prove your supremacy. Oh God, prove your supremacy. Over all personalities of darkness. And open the personality to darkness. Contending against your work. Contending against your work. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, release your tormentors. Oh God, release your tormentors. Against every opposition. Against every opposition. To your work in my life. To your work in my life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let all the powers and camping against my goodness. Let all the powers and camping against my witness. My witness. And breakthroughs. And breakthroughs. Become confused and be scattered. And become confused and be scattered. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let all the powers of my adversary. Let all the powers of my adversary. Be rendered impotent in the name of Jesus. Be rendered impotent in the name of Jesus. Let every evil tongue. Let every evil power. Uttering curses and other evil pronouncements. Amen. Keep on. Against my life. Amen. Be completely silenced in the name of Jesus. Amen. I command every stronghold and power housing my right. Amen. And goodness yes. to be violently overthrown in the name of you. Amen. I pursue, overtake, and recover my properties from the hands of spiritual robbers. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Yes, Lord. Lord, Amen. I thank you for hearing and answering my prayers. Yes, Lord. I give you. you all the glory and give you all the honor in Amen. the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Thank, thank you, Father. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I bless you, Lord God, this morning in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen and amen. Amen. Have a wonderful and glorious day, Mother. Thank you. Thank you, my sister, my daughter, my everything. God bless you. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. I received that. Amen. 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 Yes, um, we thank God, we thank God for you, Dr. Juma. We praise God, thank you for your message. It's a very powerful message about conversion. Conversion, the word God says, degree a thing and it will establish. When you degree a thing, you confess the thing. Once you confess, Amen. that is what will happen. So we thank Amen. God that God, we, every word, every word in the Bible is about conversion. Is about uh -huh. to get familiar with the word. When you confess uh -huh. the word, that is what it will happen. You can resist, uh -huh. you can pray prayer point, just a word, using the word conversion. Just confess uh -huh. the word, confess, and it will uh -huh. come to pass. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. I will Hallelujah. add one, some few prayer points about conversion. There is some powers of darkness that will hinder people from conversing the word of God. They will keep uh -huh. quiet. They will never revile the devil and uh -huh. word. They only they know that the word of God says so, but they don't want to mention it. They found it hard to say it. So I pray that let the enemy of the word that is making you, you cannot you confess to be destroyed in Jesus' name. I command Amen. every powers of darkness that is hindering you from confessing the word of God to be destroyed in the name of Jesus. I command, Amen. you know, when you confess, I'm sorry, God, because your word says, if you cannot forgive your, 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 your neighbor, you cannot forgive, then you cannot be forgiven. So confess, con to confess, as my daughter says from the book of uh, Psalms 51, uh, how David confessed and, and cried to God and, and told God, forgive me. It is through that conversion which made David free. And remember okay. David what he did after he realized that he has messed up his, his, his life. And then he went and cried to God and asked God, he confessed his sin. So the Bible says okay. when you confess, that you will be forgiven. 
Therefore, I pray that God Almighty will help you, will help you to confess immediately when you realize something, something is not right, confess it. Ask God for giving it. Confess it. Speak loud. You speak it and it will come out from your life in the name of Jesus. I pray that God will deliver us from dumbness in the name of Jesus. Every power that make you cannot speak, you cannot confess your sin, let them be destroyed and be bound in the name of Jesus. I command the Holy Ghost fire to destroy every demon hiding in your, in your life that is lying on you that you cannot be able to confess in the name of Jesus. I am asking Jesus Christ that Lord Almighty deliver your people from not confessing, Lord my Father. Deliver the people that the enemy has bound that they cannot confess. They cannot be sorry for what they are doing. My God and my Father deliver them. Let the power of the Holy Ghost destroy the enemy that has refused to open your mouth. You know, uh, there was a, a, a person I was praying and this person was tormented with the demons. So the demon refused to confess Jesus. I told the demon, I told the, the person, confess Jesus Christ as your person said. He refused confess. He refused confess, conf confession. She refused confess. So once he, con he refused, I, I had to take authority because I know there was something in her, in, inside her that was broken her not to confess. And once she confessed, it is like a bomb. I pray that God Almighty, anything that is holding you, that is denying you from confessing Jesus Christ as your personal self, let them die. That is why many people cannot confess Jesus Christ as their Savior. They, there are many people are not saved. Because they, it is hard for them to say, Jesus Christ, come to my life. They cannot be able okay. to confess. Therefore, I come against the word, of the, the, the word of the enemy that has said that you cannot confess in the name of Jesus. The Bible says okay. in the book of Romans 10 verse 10, hallelujah, praise be the name of Jesus. Let's look at that scripture. The book of Romans 10 verse 10, the Bible says, hallelujah. The Bible says, for with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth conversion is made unto salvation. You know, that is the key point. That is the key. With your heart, the Bible says, for with the heart man believeth. With your heart you believe, you believe, you believe unto the righteousness, and with the mouth conversion. Confession is made unto salvation. So your mouth is the key, the key, the gate that when you open to confess, to confess, then your ways will be open. Therefore, people of God, I pray that God Almighty will open your mouth. Let that power that does not want to you to open the mouth to confess Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, Jesus Christ, then you will be saved. The word of God is with you. You have everything. But the problem to confess is a problem to confess. Yeah. You, 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 instead of confessing, cast out the demons. Command the evil one. Let it get out of yeah. from your mouth in the name of Jesus. Speak out yeah. and confess. It will be established. Thank you, Father. Yeah. God bless you so much. Have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful time. As I mentioned, Ari, I, uh, I, I said we, we do not have any periscope until Tuesday. So no periscope until Tuesday, but there is videos. There are a lot of videos of, of from Thursday, Friday, all the videos are there. So it can help you. I'm going to uh, abroad them and it is going to help you. And uh, this one, it will come also. It will help you too. Thank you very much. God bless you. Go to our website www.overcomersdh um, ministry.proxport.ca or you can email to us overcomers dhm at gmail.com we, 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 we are here to help you God will help you so much thank you all the information are there in our website once you reach our website contacts are there and everything is there you will look at the website on the top of the website there is a Twitter, Google Plus, YouTube and, and Facebook. You click any of them, it will give you the link and you will see all our contact. Therefore, people of God, I thank you so much. I, I praise God for everyone of, uh, who have joined. God bless you so much. Have a wonderful. Here in Canada, we have a, a long weekend. We have Victoria Day. So we are still celebrating. I'm still celebrating my party day. I'm, we are still celebrating. So 
Thank you very much. God bless you. Have a wonderful time. This is your host, Prophetess Dr. Christine Isiki saying bye-bye-bye. Bye-bye.